These are my five most used hair products of the year. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm well, let me get my coffee. I'm really well, thank you. Um, we are speeding through this year, slash almost finished. And this is a time old tradition. Can we call it that? Yeah, let's call it that. This is my seventh year of doing my most used hair products video. And um, it's a really great way of looking back at some of the products that really made my year. I've got some products here, five of them, all linked down below, that um, have featured before. Some have featured in uh, the sort of brand category. And then I've got one very new one. Very exciting coming up. I'm finding it very exciting. Anyway, hi if you're new to this. That was a bit of an intro. I'm Robin, this is Man For Himself. If you like hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, fragrance, and videos like this very one, then please do hit subscribe. This year has been a lot better than last year. I remember watching my 2021 and um, there's a bit, there's some sadness behind my eyes there. I just think that was a rough year. This year has been much better. I'm in Edinburgh and I'm loving life. Hmm, cheers to that. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Up first in my most used is a product, products that I've never featured in my most used. This is Sasha Wan Ocean Mist. And um, this is the shampoo and conditioner. You can see I'm fairly down on these. I think I've maybe had about five or six of these. Sasha Wan Ocean Mist, the sea salt spray, still one of my absolute favorites and would very much be in one of my like top 10 most used. Um, featured, when did it feature? It featured last year. So last year was 2021. It didn't feature in 2020, but it did feature in 2019. And these probably would have if I'd had a top 10, but I didn't. But this year, absolutely loved these. I'm still using Nioxin System 1. I know people will ask that to thicken my hair. I'm using sort of various scrubs. I'm kind of just changing up my shampoos a bit, depending on what my hair needs. And this has been fantastic for adding this sort of like sea salty volume texture that I absolutely love. Um, the shampoo is nice and light. It doesn't weigh down the hair. And then the conditioner kind of just gives it this really great sort of like light gloss, but then still with this movement. I love these. And um, I'm very excited to say I'm launching a shop or I've launched a shop manfromself.com forward slash shop, shop.manfromself.com, however you want to do it. Long time in the making, I've got my review section on Man From Self, and I've always kind of pushed you to other shops and other retailers, but I've been speaking to brands and said, hey, I love you, I love what you're doing, can I bring you on board? So there's a price guarantee on that. I think it's really important that I get the best prices. So there's a price guarantee, which means whatever price I have on my site will be exactly what you'd get from the brand. So. I'm really excited about that. Um, you might be asking, how does that sort of affect or influence my reviews, my honest reviews, my brand battles? It doesn't. I'll always say who this will suit and who it might not. Um, I'll always be upfront with that. I would prefer for you guys to get what you need rather than me just pushing some old shit. I've never been about that life, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, next up, check it out, let me know. And if there's any brands you want to see, like tell me because then I can go to the brands and say we want that please come on board okay um up next let's go for mm, this Moroccan oil texture clay this is the fourth year of featuring so 2022 2021 2019 was the first time this maybe is like my eighth of these that one is actually finished I love Moroccan oil texture clay it's a creamy clay that scoops out easily, it swells the hair, it makes it look thicker, it gives it big texture, it washes out easily, it's, I would say, sort of budget friendly, so it's not, certainly not like cheap, cheap, cheap drugstore, but it's not really sort of super high in 30, 40 pounds. I just love it, and it's one of those products, as with most of these, that if I'm unsure what I want to do with my hair, and I'm just like, oh, I'm in a bit of a rush today, what will I use? I'll reach for this. Um, my hair today isn't this. My hair today is actually uh, O'Dowd's matte paste, um, which was in a brand battle just last week, actually. So yeah, it's, um, I, I mean, that might be on the next one for next year. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I, I, I really think this is great. Again, I'll link it. This is not on my shop, but I would love to get Moroccan oil on there. Um, so yeah. Okay, next, let's give you, let's give you this one. Kevin Murphy Powder Puff. Um, I, think this is great. You can see he's really quite tatted. Um, I have maybe onto like one of like my third of these. This is 
just a really great volumizing powder. There are so many volumizing powders out in the market at the moment. You've got some more sort of like budget friendly ones like uh, Slick Gorilla, which I do have on my shop. And I think they are really great for adding that really sort of quite hard texture or that sort of French crop style with the super hard fade that I know so many people are still doing. It's not for me, but it's for a lot of other people. But with this, I find this actually a bit of a lighter texture powder. It's a lighter texture powder that will give the gritty texture. It will mattify the hair, but it will also provide just a really great foundation for other products that you go on to use. I quite often use a pre-styler, like something like the Aveda Thickening Tonic, maybe another one that's coming up, or like the Ocean Mist, then I might use a bit of this, then I'll use something like a clay or even a cream, and it just helps to give the hair a bit of movement. I think it's really great. Kevin Murphy is one of my favorite brands, um, and I, I just think they, they create really amazing products. This wasn't in last year, or was it? Yeah, it was in last year, I'm pretty sure it was. 2021, wasn't in 2020, but it was in 2019. I might be making this up, but um, I did do up a, a, a most used spreadsheet. I love a spreadsheet. I just get really excited seeing everything down. Um, okay, let's give you, we've done one, two, three. Okay, fourth, Shoe Revival Northern Lights. They rebranded their sort of packaging um, in 2021 when the world ended, but they were still going. I love this, a matte paste, which gives, it's actually, I think, like the paste version of the Moroccan Oil Texture Clay. Easy to scoop out, easy to emulsify, easy to get into the hair, and just really great styling. I think this is great. Maybe my fourth of this. I think Shoe Revival is a great brand. They've been in brand battles. Um, I'm hoping to get them on the shop. Uh, so fingers crossed, maybe I've managed to do that. Ah. And um, maybe I'm talking too openly about my shop, but I'm involving you. So again, you can let me know the brands you want to see. Um, so I just think this is a really great, great product. Really great oils in this really great um, ethos in terms of the brand. I think it smells pretty good and more importantly, it works. So really, really solid. Thank you very much, Your Revival. You've been a great part of my year. And finally, a product which I'm just gonna say very quickly about is this, not the actual bottle, um, but this will be coming in 2023. This is my first ever product that I'm creating. So there you go, that will be coming out. Um, and it's in my most used because I've been testing since like last year actually, testing lots of different products, uh, feeding back and just trying to craft something that I am very happy with. Again, how will that change how I review other products? It won't. This product, if you love it, you will absolutely love it. I love it, but if you don't, then you won't. It's not made for everyone. I'm not gonna say it's a catch-all product. It's not a product that is gonna be uh, totally changing the world. It's taking some of my absolute favorite things from various brands and various products because I have been on here for 10 years in 2023, 10 years of YouTube videos, trying thousands of products. And in doing this, I've really come to learn what works in what way and working out the payoff between ingredients or sort of functionality in products. And that product is just one of the things I've wanted to do. So we'll see how that goes. Sign up to my newsletter if you want to kind of be the first to see on that. It will all be coming soon. Again, uh, I'm not gonna say it's the best product ever. I absolutely love it. But um, for other people, they may not like it. And again, always gonna be honest with you. So. There you go. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm going to have skincare coming up, my most used. I'm also going to have my most used fragrances. Uh, if you're still new to this, please do press subscribe. There's more video suggestions up there. All the products down below linked. Also, please check out the shop. It is very much a work in progress. Um, and let me know the brands you want to see. But until my next new video, bye-bye.